What's going on, fellas? In today's video, I'm gonna show you five super simple and stylish ways you can fold your pocket square. And at the end of the video, I've got an extra bonus tip for you. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? It's great to see you, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. So like I said, today I'm gonna to show you five super simple and stylish ways to fold your pocket square. Personally, I'm a fan of the presidential fold. This is pretty much what I'm always running with, unless I've got like a fancy pocket square or I'm going to an event that's like gonna have a lot of people in a bar, cocktail type setting, I might go with some type of a modified puff. But I'm gonna go through all of these pocket square folds, so let's go. Okay, first up is the presidential or the straight fold. And you can see that I do favor this fold quite a bit because you can see everything's folded this way. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. First off, we're just gonna go straight in half. Then we're going in half again. And then obviously in half again. And so we'll have to tuck this end under just a little bit. And so this, these seams are what you're seeing sticking out of your pocket. The other way we can do it, which basically gives you the same exact uh, the same exact result, but depending on the shape and the size of your pocket square and the depth of your pocket that you're working with, we're just going straight in half again, but I'm not going all the way to the top. I do want to sort of emphasize the seams on this one. And so instead of going this way, like we did before, we'll go in half this way. So we have another square in half again this way. And so these are your folds right here that you're seeing. We'll tuck this end under just like this. And so this would drop in your pocket just like that. I always go points out towards my shoulder and I always try anyway to keep the same slant on my pocket square as my pocket. So it's not, you know, uneven. I always try to kind of, if I can follow that same, that same slant, make sure the lapel covers and that is your straight fold or your presidential fold. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you is the puff. It's probably the most popular and it's also the easiest. Start by laying it out flat, pinch in the center, and just pull it up and gather it just like this. And so this bottom end will go in your pocket and this end sticks up just like that. Spread it out to however you think looks good and you're kind of good to go at that point. So the whole idea is that we're aiming for imperfection. It does not have to be perfect. Um, it's like those pre-tied bow ties that you see at weddings. Like you can tell they're fake and they're pre-tied. Same thing with pocket squares. You can buy pre-folded pocket squares that are glued to a piece of cardboard that jam inside your pocket, but they're just way too perfect. It's like those three perfectly slanted points that stick up. Don't do that. It's okay if it looks off. And that's actually what you're aiming for here. All right, so another one I wanna show you, it works on pocket squares that are a little bit on the large side. Basically, we're starting with the puff, pinch it in the center, gather up this way, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tail ends and fold it up behind just like this. And so it will fit in your pocket just like this. So you'll be able to see the puff in the front and also a few points in the back. All right, so you've got your puff with the points behind it. Jam it down in there and you've got something that kind of looks like that. So I think this works really well, especially if you have a pocket square with a lot of pattern on it, or if you have some pattern with some contrasting uh, roll stitching on the ends, that way you're showing a little bit more of the pocket square and you're showing it off a little bit better. And these pocket squares with the four different uh, quadrants are actually sort of interesting. So let's say for example, you want to show the blue and white polka dot. So let's fold it in half this way. We'll fold it in half this way and we're basically doing a puff. Pinch in the center, pull up, and this is your pocket square sticking out. Alternatively, if you wanted to do, say, for example, the blue and white paisley, same deal, and this is now your pocket square. So this next one is a little interesting that I'm gonna show you. So this is a larger size pocket square and I do have four distinct color differences on each of these quadrants. Pinch in the center, of each quadrant, then bring them together in the center. And so what we're gonna do is we're doing a modified puff. I can separate all these different colors out and this looks better as a front. And so now this is your pocket square. This is what's sticking out. And that's what you've got. I think that's a really cool look. So if you're out looking for pocket squares and you see one that's got some multiple color quadrants on it, pick one up and you can mess around a little bit. 
One of the folds that I'm really not necessarily a fan of is I guess what I call the volcanic fold. You're starting with the puff like this, but instead of having this end show, you're having this end show. So you have all of this stuff sort of volcanoing out of your pocket. Uh, I see it a bit, but it's just something that I'm necessarily not a fan of. Okay, it's bonus tip time, and I have two tips for you today, actually. So one thing that I hate are the really slippery pocket squares that fall down inside your pocket. You always gotta kinda worry about where they're at, and they don't hold their shape very well. One thing you can do is get a little tissue paper or toilet paper, put that down in your pocket first, then what you can do is take the pocket square, put it right on top, and now your pocket square doesn't have anywhere to go. It will always stay up. The next tip I have for you, instead of using the silk pocket squares that are slippery, what you can do is find some cotton pocket squares. I feel they tend to hold their shape a whole heck of a lot better. They don't really slip down inside the pocket and because there's a little more traction to them. And I think about 80% of the pocket squares I own are actually made of cotton. So if this type of men's lifestyle content geared for us older guys interests you, please hit that subscribe button because it really does make a difference. I hope you learned something and maybe picked up something you can use going forward in your pocket square folding. Guys, I'll see you very soon in a brand new video. Until then, take care and stay safe.